Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX rebounded to the green zone today as the market gained 12.38 points or 0.24% and settled at 5,173 points. Market turnover was 3.45 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 4.87% compared to the previous trading day. Brack Bank, Islami Bank Bangladesh and Rupali Bank from the banking sector, Walton High Tech Industries, Bangladesh Steel Rerolling Mills and Burzer Paints Bangladesh from the industrial sector and Heidelberg Cement and Premier Cement from the cement sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, the cement sector posted the highest gain of 1.56%, while the industrial sector registered the second highest gain of 1.26%. On the other hand, the telecommunications sector posted the highest loss of 1.02%. Five textile and four industrial companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Far East Knitting and Dyeing Industries, Salvo Chemical Industry and United Finance registered the highest gain while Esquire Knit Composite, New Line Clothings and Jute Spinners were the top losers today. Far East Knitting and Dyeing Industries rose in value today as there was no price limit on the trading of the shares due to their corporate declaration. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of City General Insurance Company, Continental Insurance and Apex Footwear increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. The volume of Continental Insurance increased significantly today as one of the sponsors of the company has expressed her intention to sell 833,402 shares out of her total holding of 875,072 shares of the company at prevailing market price. There was no publicly disclosed fundamental reason for the volume increase for the rest of the stocks. Top two news today. Bangladesh's foreign debt servicing surged by 29% year-on-year in the first quarter of FY 2024-25, to driven by an expanded loan portfolio and rising global interest rates. The country repaid US$1.13 billion United States dollars in principal and interest from July to September, compared to US$870 million United States dollars in the same period last year. Principal repayments rose by 31%, while interest payments increased by 17%. Experts point to shorter grace periods and higher interest rates as key factors behind the rising debt burden, which is expected to grow further as grace periods expire by 2026-2027. Six struggling banks have received 16.40 billion Bangladeshi takas in loans from Sonali Bank, Mutual Trust Bank and Dutch Bangla Bank to address their liquidity crisis. The funds went to First Security Islami Bank, Social Islami Bank, Union Bank, Bank, Global Islami Bank, National Bank, and Exim Bank with Bangladesh Bank's approval. More banks are expected to apply for similar support. Irregularities in the banking sector, particularly involving SLM Group, have prompted Bangladesh Bank to appoint administrators in the affected banks. That's all for today. Thank you.